Which muscle causes depression of mandible? The options are medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid, masseter and temporalis. So I'll just give you an illustration to show you the various muscles of mastication and their function. So uh, the muscles of mastication here, which we have to understand, muscles of mastication which arise from the first pharyngeal arch and these are going to be your temporalis. medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid and then you have your masseter. So these are the muscles of mastication which are important here. Yes, there is uh, some uh, contribution uh, of certain infrahyoid muscles as well. So that we just will just see but here the main thing is the function of these all muscles. So first here if you see this is the temporalis muscle. I will shade the whole area of the temporalis muscle. Try to understand it. And from here you will be able to get that this is the vector here. This actually the middle one is actually the vector here. And that means this is the path of the pulling of this particular muscle. And that can be broken down into two components. One is going to be towards the offside and that is called as the elevation and the other is going towards the back side that is not going to do the retraction. So your temporalis muscle, the temporalis muscle is going to perform a function that involves the elevation and another is the retraction. So you don't have to cram all this, you just understand the path of the vector that is formed by that particular muscle and you just break that into two components, you will get the answer. Same way, this here at the neck of your condyle, there is a muscle that is attached that is known as the lateral pterygoid muscle and that is going to have a component uh, actually in this particular direction. Okay. Now that will be broken down into two. One is towards the forward direction that is known as the protrusion and another is going to be towards the lower direction that is going to be the depression. So depression and protrusion is performed by lateral pterygoid. Then if you see this whole area, this, blue, uh, this greenish area is going to be the outer side will have your masseter and inside the same area towards the masseter, uh, towards the ramus only, you will have the medial pterygoid. Now what is the function of this? Actually the actual value, um, the component is towards this direction and that most probably causes the elevation of the mandible, right? So these are the various functions of all these muscles. Now there are certain infrahyoid or the other muscles as well. So here uh, there is anterior belly of the diagnostic that is attached to the mandible here and then you have your hyoid bone, right? So these are the muscles that are attaching the mandible towards the hyoid bone as well. Then yeah, there will be the posterior belly of the digestive that will be attached to the mastoid process. So here you will be seeing that this anterior belly of digestive and even the mylohyoid helps in the depression but actual uh, depressing force will be coming from the anterior belly of the digestive. Right? So these are the various components which we have just seen. So I will just give you a table to remember the various movements of the mandible. One is the elevation. Elevation means the closure of the mouth, closing of mouth. Now when the closing of the mouth occurs, so who is going to elevate it? Temporalis that we have just seen. Second is the masseter that is towards the outer side of the ramus and the inner one is going to be your medial pterygoid. So these are the muscles which are going to elevate it. Here elevation is due to the outer one that is the masseter and inner one that is the medial pterygoid at the same time elevation is due to the temporalis, right? Same way if we are asked about the depression that means the opening of the mouth, opening of mouth, right? So that will be out of the muscles of mastication that will be due to the lateral pterygoid muscle. Although the other muscles like suprahyoid and the infrahyoid muscles will be helping. Okay, I will just show it in figure here. So the lateral pterygoid is going to depress the mandible as well as depression can be due to the suprahyoid as well as the 
intrahyoid muscle so this is going to be the suprahyoid muscle because it is superior to the hyoid bone right this is the hyoid bone then we have another movement that is the protrusion now protrusion most probably it is caused by the lateral pterygoid muscle but if we see here very carefully this particular is the vector one component will be towards the elevation side and another component will be towards the protrusion side right so actually the protrusion mainly it is performed by the lateral pterygoid but there is some contribution of the medial pterygoid from the inside and masseter from the outside in the protrusion as well so we'll have lateral pterygoid then there will be medial pterygoid there will be another one that is the masseter muscle same way we'll talk about the retrusion now retrusion mainly performed by the temporalis muscle we have just seen in the figure here so this is the retraction or the retrusion here and that is performed by the temporalis muscle then there is a muscle uh, there is a uh, movement that is the lateral movement now this lateral movement that generally occurs during the grinding and chewing is generally done by the pterygoids of opposite side pterygoids of opposite side that means the uh, medial and the lateral pterygoid but they have to be towards the opposite direction right so these are the various movement now let's come to the question which muscle causes the depression of the mandible so depression of the mandible only one muscle of mastication is going to do the depression and that is none other than the lateral pterygoid muscle so the option 2 is the correct answer here.